Hey there folks, Scottsdale Travel Chick Sidekick here again to tell you about our trip to Valley of Fire State Park just outside Las Vegas, Nevada. A little about this park. The park is about an hour drive northeast of Las Vegas and a great day trip when you get tired of all the drinking and gambling in downtown Vegas. It was the very first park in Nevada established in 1935 and it's big, about 42,000 acres. The name for the park, Valley of Fire, comes from the red sandstone which sometimes looks like it's on fire under direct sunlight. The park is open from dawn to dusk and the entry fee is $10 a vehicle. Okay, so what can you actually do in this park? Well, there are a number of great trails and beautiful sights to see, as well as a visitor center. In this video, we are going to cover the top five things to do. All of them are relatively short and you can do everything in one day. They are the Beehives, Hat Laddle Rock, Mouse Tank Trail, Fire Wave Trail, and White Domes Trail. First up are the Beehives. It's the first place you'll come to after entering the park, and it's a nice intro of things to come. It's worth a quick stop to check out a group of rocks that look like beehives. There are also some cool holes weathered into the rocks to see, and you'll want to get a couple of pics into the distance of the other sites you come to. Scottsdale Travel Chick is down there. We can hike up to these things. Pretty cool, huh? I guess this is called the Beehives. These are the Beehives. Let's see. Next up is At Laddle Rock. Its claim to fame are its ancient Indian petroglyphs. It might surprise you, but this area was first inhabited by the ancient Pueblo Indians, also known as the Anastasi, from at least 300 BC. That's more than 2,000 years ago. So there's some pretty old rock art here. Hi, right, babe, where are we at now? Hieroglyphics. There are Egyptians here? Oh. Petroglyphs, you mean. Oh. Interesting point, an atlatl is an ancient throwing stick used to launch primitive spears. It was the predecessor of today's bow and arrow. Hi right, babe, can you read these to me? What do they say? It says there is elk maybe up there, and with a sword, with a dog or a So now we're alongside the rock that not everybody knows about. There's actually some petroglyphs that's in this part too. Next, we come to our first actual hiking trail, Mouse's Tank Trail. It's short at only three quarters of a mile round trip, and it's also known as one of the most significant petroglyph areas in all of America. They are all over this canyon, which, by the way, is named after an outlaw in the 1890s who hid out there as it had a natural tank at the end of the canyon which held water all year round. All right, where are we at? We are at Mouse's Tank Trailhead. What's so special about this place? We're going to go find out. Oh. Only three quarter mile, so maybe an easy hike. All right, so Scottsdale Travel Chick can handle this then. <laughs> she can handle it. So we're hiking out here. This was named after a cowboy outlaw named Mouse who hid out here in this canyon because at the end there was a little place that would have water almost all year round and it would be hard to get in here to get him. 
So that's the name where it came from. Look at that sandstorm right there. What are you doing? I'm trying to look sexy. Oh, really? Wow. Another wall of ancient petroglyphs. It gets really windy here, but what I'm saying in the video is it's kind of amazing to think that they carved all this stuff up on top of these rocks. They didn't have ladders, and some of these carvings are 30, 40, 50 foot high up on the rocks. Next up is one of the biggies here, Fire Wave Trail. This is a one and a half mile round trip hike out through some cool rock formations to some striated sandstone, or as I call it, bacon rock. Basically, it's various colored layers of sandstone formed by shifting sand dunes 150 million years ago. This and White Dome Trail are probably the two top attractions in all the park. We'll cover White Dome's trail next. Where are you going? The water wave? The fire wave? The fire wave, okay. So you walk out past this big rock plateau and then you hang a right. So we just came around the corner. This big mountain. And we're gonna walk out to that stuff in the distance there. Fire rock or whatever it is. Just to point out we are not alone. All these people on this hike ahead of us. Just taking a little panoramic view here. It's pretty beautiful. Between all the red rocks, distant mountains, white rocks or white tanks here. And then back to the Scotto Travel Chick over there. Really a trail, but you gotta kind of walk over all these rough marks. Just follow these yellow sign marker here. Walking along this. edge here, but this is the fire rock area right here. Stuff here, but this is kind of the swirl thing here. So this wave rock um, trail hike is really good. Well worth the time. Okay, the last of our top five and the other biggie in the park, White Domes Trail. This is a one and a quarter mile loop trail out through a small canyon with beautiful rock formations. The trail eventually turns into a slot canyon for a bit, which is pretty cool and there are also various branch canyons you can explore too. This was the most crowded of all the hikes in the park, so be prepared for parking issues at this one, but it's definitely worth the hassle. From the trailhead, it starts off sandy, but then you quickly move to walking down into a canyon that gets narrower and narrower. Okay, we walk down the steep part. How are you doing? How are you? Mine are good. I got a bionic knee and one that's pretty weird. Okay. Back sometimes too.
tell it to take out the goodies. Eventually, you come out of the slot canyon into a wide open plateau area and eventually you make your way back to the trailhead. So what's behind you there, babe? Uh, so this is, you can do a slot canyon back there. Just finished out white tanks. How was that? Yeah, that was really great. Beautiful trail that loops all the way around and beautiful slot canyons with gorgeous colors. Uh, you recommend this one over the other ones or what? Oh yeah. I think this is probably one of my favorites. Because I love slot canyons. Well, there you have it. Our top five things to do in Valley of Fire State Park. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please subscribe to get our weekly updates on our latest travel adventures. Until next time, see you later.